In this tutorial, I'll cover the following topics. We'll take a quick look at what's in the box. I'll show you how to attach the telephone base legs. We'll take a look at the bottom of the phone and see where to connect the handset, optional headset, and the location of the expansion module connector. Then I'll show you where to connect the ethernet and power cables. When you order one of these Astra SIP telephones, inside the box you'll find the telephone, a handset, a handset cord, a power cord, an ethernet cable, telephone base legs, a wall mounting kit, and a user guide. Now let's turn the phone over and look at the bottom of the phone. The first thing we'll look at is how to attach the legs. The legs can be positioned in four ways. You can use the two front slots or the two back slots to change the angle of the phone. You can also turn the legs around 180 degrees. This will give you two additional angles for changing the height of the phone. To attach the legs, insert the hooks on the rounded side of the leg first, then tilt towards the phone and the other two hooks will snap into place. To remove the leg, gently press at the base, releasing the two hooks that just snapped into place. Then tilt the leg back and remove. There are three connectors, or jacks, on the bottom of the phone. The first connector is a headset connector. The headset feature is supported by all models in the 6750 series of phones. The icon next to the jack looks like a headset in earphones. Now this connector is only for a headset. The next connector is the handset connector. Plug the standard handset and cord that came with this phone into this connector. One word of caution, do not try to plug a headset into this handset connector. It will not work. The next connector is for use with an expansion module. There is a cover you will need to remove to expose the expansion module jack. Each connector has tracks or grooves next to it. Be sure to route each cable or cord in the appropriate track. This will keep each cable and connection secure. Now let's look at the connectors on the back. On the back are two Ethernet connectors and a power connector. Notice the two Ethernet connectors are labeled LAN and PC. The LAN connector must be connected to your network. This is the connector that will give your phone telephone service. I'll talk about the PC connector in just a minute. If your company provides inline power or power over Ethernet, you will not need to use the power adapter. This is because your phone is getting the power from the Ethernet connection. I just talked about power over Ethernet, but if your company does not provide power over Ethernet, then you'll need to use the power adapter. Plug one end into the phone and the other into an AC outlet. Now let's talk about the PC connector. These phones have a built-in Ethernet switch. This means you can share a single network connection with your phone and your PC. This can be very helpful if there's only one network connection in your area. With the main network connection plugged into the LAN connector, then a second cable is used to connect your phone's PC jack to your computer's Ethernet card or connector. This way, with no additional equipment, you can share one network connection with both your phone and your computer. An additional tutorial is available on how to set up, configure, and use the telephone features.